everyone, Lisa Valentine here, Design Team Coordinator for Swirly Do's Kit Club. We can be found at www.swirlydoos.com and welcome to our May blog hop. Um, and here is our most lovely, it's my best van of white hands, um, May kit. There is a gob of stuff in here, people. I'm looking at this just kind of a bit overwhelmed as usual, but here, let's get to it. Uh, first thing we have here is the uh, by Ruby Rocket. And it is a felt one-piece embellishment. And I think you guys might remember another manufacturer a while back had felt embellishments. And um, and it's really nice, actually, because this, um, obviously, you can just kind of glue down as it is, or you can kind of break it apart into different design elements. But it's really pretty. Um, well, there you have it. <laughs> okay. And then some of my most favorite flowers ever, I'm just going to tell you that right now, is by Petaloo, and it is their textured elements. Um, those of you who have seen my work know that I love texture. I love molding paste. I love things that, that add that type of a design element and depth to a page. And these flowers are great because you can mix and match. You can build them however you want. These ones here have like a faux wood grain to them, and they're really, really beautiful. Uh, I think you'll like them quite a bit. We have some trim here. I'm not familiar with this company. It's called uh, Fundamentals, and they appear to be out of Australia. Beautiful rickrack and stuff here. We have Pink Paisley making a showing in our kit this month. Uh, from their Hope Chest um, collection, lots of little tags and little uh, paper elements here and these cute little butterflies. We also have this by Pink Paisley. Um, their Lux collection, and this just says circles, and I'm going to be honest with you, when I first looked at this, I jumped up and down, squealing like a little schoolgirl, thinking, oh, it's another stencil. I really think this is just supposed to be a design element. Cut it up, use it, add glue to it, plop it down in glitter, do whatever you want to it, but I'm looking at this as a stencil, folks. Um, <laughs> so that's where my head's at. Um, also in the kit is uh, some silk. Uh, acrylic glaze this one in uh, Bolivian blue and if you haven't noticed those of you who subscribe to our kits Chrissy has been adding in a little pot of the acrylic acrylic glaze in every kit and the idea is that eventually you guys are going to end up with an entire collection of all of the acrylic glaze colors that are out there and that's something that we've been talking about doing is adding in little pieces where you can build a collection out of the kits. So if you think of anything that you might like to see, add it in and that you can build your collection off of, drop us an email. You can drop, you can e email me at lisa at swirlydoos.com with an idea that you may like to see happen in your monthly kits where you can start building yourself a collection. So there you have that. Now to the paper. You know, you gotta love die cuts. There's just tons of things you can do with this. And uh, this is from Ruby Rocket. And this actually has a really nice um, stitched center to it. So for those of you who have wanted to sew on paper and haven't, uh, here you go. This one's already done for you. Gotta like that. Pink Paisley. Here we go with our Hope Chest. Um, you know, I love Pink Paisley because their, their pages are always um, layered. Uh, and there's lots of depth and lots of things that you can cut out. And I've never been a big fussy cutter, but I'll tell you, um, there's lots of fun things in here to be cut out. And this is the back side to the page. It's another one from their Hope Chest collection, Pink Paisley. Oh, pretty. <laughs> it's kind of like a greenish with a little bit of blue and some kind of pinky fuchsia-y fuchsia -y sort of colors in there. Lots of fun things here. Again, pink paisley. Look at how pretty. You know, the funny thing is I see these papers and I think about our designers on our team and I can already tell you by looking at these, oh, you know, Heidi would like this or Angelica would really like that. Or Pauline, my goodness, what's Pauline going to do with this? <laughs> oh, look at how cute. Little circles in here. Really pretty page, pages, papers. Lots of, uh, lots of ways to go with this. Yeah. <laughs> 
All right, looks like here we've got some Prima coming out of their Lyric collection. Nice. Page kind of already made there for you. I love the big words because I'm not one that does a lot of journaling or titling on my pages, and I know I've had some friends in the past who have, you know, really tried to to help me to do that and, you know, prompt me, hey, I don't see a title on that page. Um, it's just never really been something for me, and I, and I don't know why, because um, it's not like it's there's some deep, dark secret, but the best part about this is that I can just cut the word and add it to my page. I love being able to do that. Um, so this is going to give me some opportunity. Well, this is pretty. I love this stuff down here. This is really nice. Again, Prima. Ooh, somebody's emailing me. Um, oh, again, very similar from Prima. This is pretty. I like these little things here. Ooh, lovely, lovely. Looks like black lace. And that uh, sort of appear to be more Prima. Yep, more Prima. So there's our main kit. And uh, as you can tell, there's... Um, not only some gorgeous paper in here, but a lot of really nice uh, embellishments and, and add-ons in the kit here. Um, if that's what you're getting, but there's so, so much more. As with every kit, Chrissy coordinates some um, cardstock so that it matches what's in the kit. And um, it looks like we have, once again, coordinations. And as I've mentioned in the past, I love coordinations. Um, it, there's so much more than just flat color uh, to coordinations paper. You can sand it, you can rip it, you can shred it, you can emboss it, and you get an opposite color because the inside of the paper, the core of the paper, has a contrasting color. Um, and so, as you can see, we have 12 sheets of coordinating paper for the kit. Um, awesome colors here. But wait, it doesn't stop there. We have our flower add-on, and this is full of Prima flowers. Pretty. Love the feathers. And then we have the embellishment add-on, which is always fun, and Chrissy just packs this thing. Wait till you guys see what's in here. Hello. <laughs> Um, we have some Petaloo button accessories, and these are so pretty, and they're really vintage. I love them a lot. Uh, and then we have some Heidi Swap uh, color. Um, we have a, a spritzer here, and it's in chartreuse. I can't wait to see what this really looks like. Hmm. Uh, Maya Road, we have some uh, chipboard. Looks like there's uh, bird cages and other little thingies in here. Uh, Prima Vintage Trinkets. I love little metal trinkets, don't you guys? They're so pretty. More wooden buttons from Prima. We have a crystal sheet. And we have um, some little words here from uh, Christy Tomlinson from her She Art. If I took this class, I happen to love it. Um, and, and, uh, and I love... Uh, Christy, and of course this is part of her line with Pink Paisley. And then we have some alphas. I know a lot of you out there love alphas. I don't know about you though, I have a drawer full of alphas that just have letters that I <laughs> never use. I should probably do something with them, but if you guys can think of an idea for me to do something with alphas that rarely get used, I'd appreciate it. Again, just drop me an email. But there you go. There is our April, or sorry, May kit from uh, swirlydews.com. I really hope you enjoy our blog hop, and I hope to see you around our forum. Have a great day.